Next competitor, Zain Jacobs, Daniel, don't die alone. <coughs> Daniel, don't die alone by Fenula Downing. He was 29. Actually, he was older than that. But along Long Street and the Vatican, you have to be young to be loved. <laughs> so Daniel thought. Daniel's family lived somewhere along the N1. Along the N1, you have to be a boot to be loved. <laughs> so Daniel thought. Daniel's family never visited him in his art deco flat. And he never told them about wanting to find a nice man and settle down. In any case, Lately, red, itchy scales, burnt his skin, and he thought, well, that's it for love and romance. Daniel didn't go to the doctor, because when you're sick, your family and friends have to take care of you. And Daniel preferred to be on the giving end of things. So, in order to block out the death that he was in fact inviting in, Daniel stayed up later and later, balancing his boss's nightclub books, helping his friends with their catering, work, work, Daniel, good boy, Daniel! Till one day, he woke up, and swayed, and fell. Daniel caught a taxi to his death because he didn't want to disturb his family or bother his friends. Though, some did come by the ward that night and heard him ask, Who are the others in the room? Who is that standing behind you? Then the few friends left. Daniel died. And later, someone told his family all about Daniel for the first time. So please, join me as I say, Daniel, don't die alone. Call your mother to the phone, say, Mama, I can't do this on my own. Daniel, next time you die, don't catch a taxi to your death. Call someone you know and say, I can't do this on my own. <laughs>